I'm Ted Takasaki with Midwest Outdoors. We're out here on beautiful West Lake Okoboji in Iowa, and I've got my buddies with me, Chris Killian, Perry Parks, Brian Killian, and uh, you know, we're gonna be looking around for some perch. I mean, these fish are roaming across this big lake in deep water, and we're gonna be punching a lot of holes, searching around, spreading out, trying to find some fish. Hi, <laughs> Perry. There's one. <laughs> Nice. Not too hard, but. Oh, yeah, you bet. Oh, he's got the hot stick. Oh, 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 there's a bruiser. Like you said, Teddy, though, be good in the fry. There's no doubt about that. You get one, Ted. <laughs> All right, Perry, I hooked up on one, man. All right. You know, even, even, even a squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. Oh, there you go. Nice. Yep, they're all in that same school fish. But, you know, the, the night, these, these fillets, I mean, will crisp up really, really good. I can't wait to get my mouth on. Perry, you got one, another one? Starting to pound a few here. Yeah, they're just not getting any bigger. They might be getting a little smaller, Teddy. You know, usually the little ones grab the bait first, you know, in front of the big ones, right, Perry? Normally, yeah, normally the bigger ones. <coughs> Or the little ones hit first, and then when you thin them down, then the big ones come in and start biting on it. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll thin them down. They're about four foot thick down there. I know. There's a ton of them. There's a few. We just invited Chris into the party here. Yeah. <laughs> right. The nice thing about bringing our, calling our buddies over when you get on a school like this is it helps keep the school here. You've always got a bait down there, and it keeps the fish active. A lot of times you buy yourself, when you're reeling your fish up, by the time you get back down this deep water, the school's moved on. So a lot of times if you can get two or three of your buddies together, you can keep the school here for quite a while. Got him. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. There you go, Chris. Boy, you see how I had to pull that all the way up like that? How far off the bottom were you, Chris? I, well, I think I was at least six or seven feet. I've had him following it all the way up. Huh. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a yumbo. There we go. That's nice. <laughs> that one chased it. I had to get him all the way up. Well, this school has moved off, and it's time to move with them. So we're kind of packing up. We're going to keep on moving around, kind of drill a few more holes further out, maybe check a little bit deeper water for some of them bigger fish. Oh, yeah, that was a beauty. <laughs> I'm telling you what, we just made a move. We were catching a little smaller fish and went into this deep of water. It's, we're in like 60 feet and the bottom is littered. Now this one came on that dead stick. and had a dead stick just sitting there. And then right after I caught that fish, oh, look at that. Oh, there's a, oh, that's a bruiser. Now that is a nice perch right there. You know, we were, we were fishing in about 40 foot and I mean, we were catching a lot of, a lot of nine inches, and here, this is at least a 10, 11 incher. Well, folks, after an awesome day on the ice, now comes the fun part, the cleaning of the fish. We're here at Stan's Bait and Tackle, and we've got two fine folks that are gonna clean our fish for us, and that makes it even better. This is Gary and Jennifer. And Jennifer, it's awesome to see a woman clean fish. How, how many years have you been doing this? Um, just since July. Just since July? Yeah. And you must love the skins it. I do, I that, absolutely do. That's fantastic. Well, we're gonna watch how these two folks do it. And uh, we're gonna, first of all, take, Gary's gonna take the sides off and then Jennifer will be taking the, the rib bones and the skin off. Well, the first step here, Gary is going to be taking the actual sides off the fish. You can see he makes one cut right down behind the gill and then straight across along the backbone. He passes the fillet off to Jennifer. Jennifer is taking the rib bones, no wasted meat, by the way, and then the skin. And I mean, look at that skin. There's absolutely no wasted meat and the perfect fillet every single time. I mean, out of that little teeny perch, look at how much meat you get. Now, Jennifer, I mean, you've been doing this for a few months, and mm -hmm. uh, now you love working the skins. Do you, you have I any do. like little tricks that um, beginners might need to know before they start using the skins? It. 
Um, the two things I've found is the angles are important. So it's important the angle you come in, and also it's important how tightly you hold this. Oh. If you don't get it tight enough, you won't get hold of the meat, and you will end up chewing up your whole filet. So, filet. Got it. But you watch those two things and Man, look makes at it that. nice and easy. You got that down. <laughs> As you can see, these two are working perfectly as a team. Barry taking the sides off, Jennifer taking the skin and the rib bones off with very little wasted meat and very, very fast. So check it out at fishskinner.com. This is Ted Takasaki and the Skinsy Crew with Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back.